Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna make some really cute tins. So I had several of these old vintage metal tins, so I thought I would do some fun projects. So let's just get started. So I'm gonna use this velvet pipe and cigarette tobacco tin. It's a cool old tin. But you can use any type of tin you would like, whether it's an Altoid tin or a big tin or a small. I have all these little images I had printed out. So all I'm doing is cutting this black border off of this and you can add your own words and edit them out. So I just put Christmas magic on this one. Decide what I wanna cover up. Christmas magic tobacco, that seems a little odd, but you know what, we're gonna go with All it. All I'm using is a, a decoupage medium, but really it's just a glue. So I'm gonna use some sort of a glue and glue this paper onto my tin. And I'm just gonna put him down here. I'm just gonna add just a teeny bit of wax before I put my glitter on, just to give it a little bit of aged look. And you really can't do that after you have your gloppy glitter on. What I do now is just pick a couple areas and I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. On this one, the blue stood out. So I did the blue and then I did around the edge and I did the uh, clear for the beard. And on this one, the red stood out. So that's what I'm going to do. I just pick like one or two areas and I glitter those up. And what I am using is glossy accents. It's a clear dimensional medium. You can get this in any craft store or on Amazon. If you have really, really intricate pieces, you can just put a little bit of this on a little styrofoam plate and use a fine brush. But I have kind of a small hole in this, so it's not too bad to do. But wherever you put this is where your glitter is gonna stick. Okay, so then when you take it off, what I'm gonna do is just use a, a, a paint brush, a dry paint brush, of course, and just try to get off a little bit of this excess that the static has got on here. Okay, now we're gonna do the clear for the beard. See how easy that was? What I'm gonna do on his mustache is I'm gonna do the whole mustache. But I'm just gonna do some squiggly lines down here for the beard, so I don't need it all filled in. And I'm using this as kind of a clearish white color, and I'm just gonna put this on here. And then I am just going to do a rim. And you don't even have to do a frame, I just thought it was kind of fun, and I kind of went jaggedy just in and out a little. Let's just brush a little bit of this off and then we're done. So I hope you guys thought this was really, really easy. It's probably one of the easier ones I've done, but you could come up with any sort of theme, idea, color, make them all so different and it was so fast and quick. So whatever you do, have fun.